Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Minecraft shader. This one is called Prismarine Shaders and it's actually based off the BSL shaders and it's a rework of that shader bag so it does use the BSL shader as base and it adds a couple of things as well and I think it's a really cool shader pack and definitely worth checking out. If you have a look at the sky they have changed it so it does look different compared to BSL shaders as you guys can see. In terms of the actual colouring and the shadows, it is quite similar to BSL shaders I would say. The night time also looks quite nice, let's change the time of day to night. As you guys can see, we do have these special colours in the sky as well. And as I said earlier, it is different compared to BSL shaders because nighttime and BSL shaders would not look like this. So I haven't seen any of the other shader packs do this. So it is a nice effect, I would say. Let's change it back to daytime. As you can see, the sun is also rounded compared to the BSL shaders, which is by default square. We also do have some nice reflections and sun rays as well. We have a look at the water we do have some nice reflections coming off the sun there and the water does also look quite realistic as well you can see through it it's not very reflective which is quite cool if you do use optifine you can actually go into the options click on shaders click on shader options and you can actually change things around here so you can change the profile so we can enable stuff like tune light map you can go into the post effects as well and I have turned on depth of field and I've turned off bloom let's turn on lens flare and let's turn on dirty lens as well let's see how that looks as you guys can see it looks different now we have added the lens flare effect as well and it's quite good because it does have the depth of field as well in this so let me show you an example so if you can see I'm having a look at this but the blocks in the distance are blurred out but when I focus on them the blocks which are near me are blurred out as well so I think that's a really nice effect I do like this effect as you guys can see here blocks are much more clearer when I would look at them but the ones in the background they're completely blurred out but when I look at the ones in the background the ones that are closer to me they become blurry so I think that effect is really nice I do like this effect that's happening right here as well and i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install this as well using optifine you can also use iris shaders as well however i do think that they're more customizable options when you use optifine if you do use iris shaders with sodium you won't be able to customize this as i showed you earlier so i would highly recommend that you do install this using optifine for minecraft version 1.17.1 all right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to download java because we do need Java to install Optifine and get the installer working for Optifine. So let's open up our internet browser and just type in Java JDK 16. Go to this link over here and I will leave a link in the description so you guys don't have to go around looking for it. We scroll down and because I'm using a Windows machine, I'm going to use the Windows X64 installer and download this file. It is 150 megabytes, so just bear that in mind. Click on download. Let's wait for that to finish. All right, so as you guys can see, the file has finished downloading. So I'm going to click on this file to run it. As you guys can see, I am getting a message here which says the software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? So I'm going to click on no. But if you guys have never installed this, I would highly recommend that you do install it because it's going to make our Optifine installation so much easier. So let's open up the internet browser again and just type in Optifine in your search bar there. And it should be the first link, which is Optifine.net. So let's open up this link. And if we go to the download section, Optifine has been upgraded recently. So we do have the preview build, which is pre-29. It did get updated on the 14th of July. Obviously, if you are watching this video in the future, you will have later versions of this as well with more fixes. So if we have a look at the change log for now, it's not compatible with Forge. And they have fixed a few of the things for the shader packs as well. So let's go ahead and download this file. I'm going to click on mirror because I think that's the quicker way of downloading this. Let's wait for that to finish downloading. All right, as you guys can see, I have placed the jar file on my desktop here, and we're gonna install Optifine. So if you right click on this jar file, hover over where it says open with, and as you can see, it says here, 
Java platform SE binary. And the reason I'm getting this option is because I just installed the Java JDK 16 file. If you haven't installed Java, like I said earlier, you won't be able to see this option. So I would highly recommend that you do it because it's going to make your life so much easier. So if we click on the Java platform SE binary here, it's going to come up with the Optifine installer. So just click on install. It is picking up the default directory there. So as you can see, it says Optifine is successfully installed. Click on OK. Wait for that to close down. And now we're going to download the Minecraft Java shaders, which I showed you earlier. So in your search bar, if you just type in BSL shaders, and the link we need to go to is the bitslablab.com link. So that is the BSL shaders main website. So let's go there because we're going to download the, the shaders, which I mentioned earlier through this website. So if you click on edit and extras over here, as you can see, it does say Prismarine over here. So just click on this link. It should open up a, another link for the CurseForge page. Click on download over here, or you can click on files have a look at the latest version and then click on download and wait for that to finish downloading. Now, if we open up our Minecraft launcher, if you have a look at the bottom left here, it does say Optifine. And if you click on the installations tab over here, you can see an entry for Optifine has been created. And if we just hover over any of these two lines, you will see that they are folder icons over here. So just click on any of these folder icons and it will open up the Minecraft default directory. Let's minimize that. Now, in this directory, you should have a folder that says shader packs. Now, if you don't have this folder, you can right click anywhere on an empty space, hover over new, and then click on folder, and then just rename it to shader packs. So let's double click in the shader packs folder. And as you can see, it's currently empty. So let me just make some space. And I'm going to move this Prismarine zip file into the shader packs folder. So as you can see, I am in the shader packs folder in the default Minecraft directory and I've put the zip file there. Just close that down. Let's go back to the installer and hover over Optifine and if we click on play, let's wait for that to load up the game with Optifine. And as you guys can see, it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 modded and if we go to options, click on video settings, there should now be a button that says shaders. So if we click on the shaders button here, click on Prismarine over here and it should enable the shader pack for you. There we go. So if we click on done, now let's create a completely blank new world. Let's go for the normal difficulty survival world. Let's click on create new world. Let's wait for that to load up. There we go. So as you guys can see, it has loaded the Prismarine pack and everything has been enabled in terms of the shaders and everything just looks so nice now. As you guys can see, all right, let's get out of this area because I think I can hear some bad guys in this area. Obviously, you can press the escape key, go to options, click on video settings, and then if we go to shaders, click on shader options. We can mess around with all the other fine details in this. So if we click on lighting, for example, I'm going to enable this. Click on post effects. I'm going to enable the depth of field. Turn off motion blur, turn off bloom. I'm going to turn on TAA as well and dirty lens. There we go. So, hopefully, you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about using this pack, please do leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this shader pack, if you like it or not. And please do subscribe to this channel to help support, to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.